ready for the unconfiscatable conference in Vegas. Bitcoin conference here coming up. Portfolio letter for December. First time the portfolio has crossed 50% allocation to Bitcoin. This is a prediction I made, I don't know, a year or two ago, uh, just knowing the network, knowing how uh, finite money works, uh, the, the truly scarce asset simultaneously scarce to your time it's going to go up in fiat terms over time guaranteed so it's going to eat all of the portfolio 99 plus percent over the next 5 10 15 years and again the bitcoin network is growing it's been growing like gangbusters obviously for years every year the hash rate keeps going up the number of miners in the network obviously the compute power but the we know the 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 end of fiat is zero so the opposite of that is infinity so Bitcoin price can go to anything. So in today's terms, in today's dollars, you know, who knows what that will be five years from now or 10, 20, 100 years from now. But we know it, it can go up forever because of the things that's priced in. The government fiat currencies have all, have to go to zero, they, and they will. So again, Bitcoin has many exchange rates. Bitcoin has exchange rate for eggs, for cattle, for oil, for energy, and all these things are going to be priced in everything global markets are going to be priced in Bitcoin. And why can I say that so confidently? Well, because the world needs a measuring stick. Uh, governments want their own currencies because they want to be able to print it and they want to be able to steal energy, their time and energy from their citizens. They want to be able to steal it uh, from them sneaky, sneakily and, and unobserved. That's how they, they want it. But as this gets out, more and more people understanding Bitcoin, uh, you know, whether it's developing countries, developed countries, I don't have to pay 3% in credit card fees or whatever it is. I can keep my my money and it's not censored. It's it's permissionless, it's trustless, all these things. This is going to escape out into the wild as it has been and it's going to continue to be adopted. There's nothing that any government can do about it. It's a protocol. It's free speech. It's ones and zeros. That's all it is. It's I can hold my wealth in my head with 12 words or 24 words seed phrase. That's it. I can't do that with gold. I can't do that with real estate. I can't do that with insurance. I can't do that with stocks. I can't do that with a brokerage I own, a business I own. I, I can't do it with anything. Nothing. I can hold my wealth in my head though now. I can travel from country to country, planet to planet with it in my head. This is why it's going to continue going out. This is what Paul Tudor Jones realized, Stanley Druckenmiller, Tim Draper, Bill Miller, the litany, Michael Saylor, the litany of billionaires. So I have to ask myself, what are these billionaires? This is what I did. This is the journey I was on. It's not, people don't wake up saying, oh, I, I'm, the I'm a genius. Bitcoin's the answer. It's a process you go through. It's a gauntlet you go through for, for years, understanding these things, getting burned, trials and tribulations and learning, You know, seeing the, the melting ice cube that is the dollar, eroding your purchasing power all the time. Why are we using a currency that's counterfeited into existence and that we have to pay for? We Someone else counterfeits it, prints it into existence, and we have to pay taxes on it. Uh, why? Why? Thomas Jefferson told us, as you can see in our in, our, in the blog here, I put pictures of all these things, the, the receipts. The founding fathers told us, do not let governments issue or central banks issue the currency. That will end poorly, as it always has. And it's going to end the same way this time. The money issuance has to be in the hands of the people. So these billionaires, what what do they know that I don't know? And eventually everyone comes to Bitcoin. I, I've seen it with myself and many other people, billionaires on down, all the way down to the bottom of the total pole. And people eventually come to it all in their own ways. And they start understanding. You start learning. The most important part about this is you start learning about sound money. You start learning about time and energy. You start learning about uh, energy markets, about really the global economy. Bitcoin has taught me more in the last five years than the last 20 years of my life and I studied this stuff pretty high level however the filter was wrong I was studying it through a political lens much of these things that we're all taught in life are studied through a political lens and that's where I was saying before progressive or Marxist people really see the world only five to ten percent of the game board because all the world is really in a Marxist bent so they're only seeing they're missing 90 percent of what's going on around them uh, conservative and I'm talking about in American terms conservatives uh, they get to see about 50, 60, 70% of the game board. And then there's another layer above that. And that's what I didn't understand. I, I thought I had it figured out, but I was only seeing 50, 60, 70% of the game board uh, 10 years ago. And then over the last five years, I realized, well, the last 10 years, I realized it was the money layer. But even gold and silver and understanding that world, you only get another five or 10%. So now you're at 70, 80%. But to see the last 10 to 20% of the game board, you need Bitcoin. You have to start understanding true finite scarcity equal to your finite time. There's only two things in the world that are finite, completely finite. I mean, completely finite. There's only so much time on earth you have, and there's only so much Bitcoin. That's it. 
someone the other day was saying, oh, gold is scarce. Well, lead and copper, well, commodities are scarce, but they're not finite. They're, we can always find more of them. And that's the difference. And so Bitcoin is the measuring stick. Wrapping this all up, Bitcoin is the measuring stick. Energy markets, everything will be priced in Bitcoin because it doesn't move. There's only 21 million. You can now accurately value everything in the world against Bitcoin. It's a science experiment. Bitcoin is the control. It's the measuring stick. So our portfolio, obviously gone up a ton just in the last couple months. You can see here the progression. It's gone up, for what, 15% uh, just in Bitcoin uh, over the last couple months. And that's going to continue to happen. It's going to go down again. It's going to go up. It's going to go down again. It's going to go up. But over time, it's going to continue going up and to the right. That is the very nature of it because, again, it's more so the dollar and the fiat currencies losing value than it is Bitcoin gaining value. Bitcoin is gaining value, but it's the fiat currencies that are being destroyed. So you can you can try to outrun. Michael said there are some unbelievable presentations breaking down, trying to outrun inflation through the next 100 years, through businesses, through uh, S&P, through gold and silver, and you, you can't. History has shown us you cannot. You will not. If you're playing in the system, in the fiat system, you will get burnt eventually. You will get caught. It's a matter of time. And this is my biggest mission is the wealth gap, the the, the injustice, the, the the lack of fairness, the two-tier justice system, everything. It's got to stop. That is only perpetuated through a broken monetary system. And that's what I realized over the last five years. And really, quite honestly, up until it took me until early 2020. And that was kind of the nail in the coffin where I realized, oh, wow, the stuff, stuff I've been learning now for 10 years from 2010 to 2020, it was all because of this. It was for me just to be able, 10 years of learning was all to just really, well, 20 years of learning, but then 10 years of monetary history, 10 years of political, and then 10 years of monetary history and business and investment was to just understand in 2020 what I needed to know that Bitcoin was the answer, it is the answer, and that nothing can compete with it. And it is the new monetary system. It's the first time humans have had pure money. And once we start understanding that, and once I started understanding that, everything changed. The filter you see everything through becomes like politics is completely nonsensical. It, it's a laugh factory. It's accelerationism. You let it blow up, whatever. Like both sides are corrupt. It's a uniparty. Both sides are in on it. Some a little bit more than the others. And the whole system is a complete joke. All you can do is laugh at it. it it's, it's very sad at points. But again, it, it, most people are all working from a broken operating system. It's very hard to do you know, heart surgery on a patient when you only have the manual to do foot surgery. Like that's, that's what we're operating with. That's the world we're living in right now with fiat. Is you can't fix, as Jeff Lewis says, you can't fix reality from the current system. It's impossible. You can't do it. And Bitcoin changes you. It makes you become a different person. It re-educates. And Elvin Toffler in his book, Future Shock from like 1970, said the people that will be successful in the future will be able to learn, unlearn, and relearn. And we are going through that phase now. People will buy Bitcoin at the price they deserve and how fast and how quickly they can humble themselves. We all have to do this. this is, again, it's like going through buds. It's like going through SEAL training, going through buds. And every man, woman, and child has to go through this gauntlet. They have to go through the rickety old bridge to the other side, from one side, from the old world to the new world. That's the system. And once that epiphany happens and people start seeing the world through this filter, through this, this sound money, uh, finite scarcity, 21 million filter, everything changes everything changes. You start realizing how the, the incentives, the monetary incentives all align in Bitcoin in a, in a mo neutral money that captures deflation because nothing lines up in an inflationary fiat currency. And that's why governments want it because they get to reap all the rewards of deflation and technology growth, everything. They get to, to win it. Or the Genghis Khans of the world, the people who are going to do anything and everything to get theirs. Those people win in governments. So that's it. Now, an equity-based system based on capital a Bitcoin world, a finite world using uh, a neutral money that captures deflation, that actually sprinkles all the winnings back into the people. It's a completely opposite system. So think of everything you know about the system now and then reverse it. That's what we're dealing with. So again, my portfolio has gone down a little bit in, some, in certain areas. It's gone up a bunch of Bitcoin, obviously, in Bitcoin terms. But watch out. Watch for what's coming. Study the future. You don't need, you know, my, my thing now, I should have been saying this for a long time, but again, study Bitcoin. Studying, studying Bitcoin will make you smarter than you ever thought about the entire world. And then you might just happen to buy some. It's not financial advice. It's freedom advice. That's it. I've been through the gauntlet for 20 years. Whether it was hunting, farming, fishing as a kid, growing up, playing hockey, playing high-level elite sports, having businesses, investing, raising money, doing all these things. I, 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 it's not that I've done everything in the world, but I've done a lot of this stuff. And this is the thing by far. I've never seen anything like it. The people in it, the, the social layer, nothing like it. Do you know a, a society of people that they keep down through all the downturns, 80, 90% downturn, they keep 80% of the people hold and don't sell? 
Nothing, nothing like that in history. Do you know anyone that will sell or that will keep their, they believe in their fiat currencies, their dollars, pesos, yens like that? No, no one does. They're all trying to sell their dollars, their fiat, and get into assets because they know the fiat currency is worthless. It's not backed by anything. And it's literally only backed by someone's gun to their head. Do we think that's the way to structure society? No, this society won't last like this. Guaranteed, the younger generations won't allow it. That's why I position myself the way I have. So, I chose to start studying it. I chose to start studying and take a step back, take a breath and start studying and doing my homework, do my research. What do these billionaires know that I don't? And that's what's led me to here. I appreciate you, the market, be prepared, get get, get, your, get out of the system, Bitcoin, gold, silver, firearms, land, security, ammo, energy, water, food, and community. Community is the number one thing, like I'm going to do here now, going to conferences, meeting people in real life, meeting people, you know, building stuff digitally, because we're gonna need that more than ever in this tra monetary transition, building community and people around us. Please share this out, the algorithm hates truth. Question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. Trust, but verify, and this is not, freedom of, or this is not financial advice. Like I said earlier, it is freedom of advice. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.